You've probably heard of email marketing before, but do you really understand its power? Email marketing is the digital equivalent of direct mail, and it's a highly effective way to reach your target audience, drive sales, and build customer loyalty. In fact, research shows that for every $1 spent on email marketing, businesses can expect an average return of $42. It's a powerful tool that can help you connect with your audience in a way that other marketing channels simply can't. And the best part, it's relatively easy to get started with, even if you don't have any marketing experience. Today, we will cover everything you need to know about email marketing, from the basics to advanced tactics that can take your campaigns to the next level. So stick around till the end where we'll show you how to create effective email campaigns that drive results. Overview Email marketing is the practice of using email to promote products, services, or ideas to a target audience. It's a highly effective way to connect with potential customers, build relationships, and drive sales. Unlike other marketing channels such as social media or paid traffic, email marketing allows you to reach your audience directly in a more personal and customized way. One of the main benefits of email marketing is that it's cost-effective. You don't need a huge budget to get started and you can reach a large number of people with just one email. It's also highly measurable, which means you can track your campaign's performance and make data-driven decisions to improve your results over time. Creating an effective email marketing campaign involves several steps but with the right strategy and tools, it can be relatively easy and fun. Let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide to creating a successful email marketing campaign. 1. Define your audience The first step in creating an effective email marketing campaign is to define your target audience. Who are your ideal customers? What are their needs, interests, and pain points? The more you know about your audience, the more effective your emails will be in engaging and converting them. To define your audience, you can use various tools and methods, such as customer surveys, website analytics, social media insights, and market research. Once you have a clear understanding of your audience, you can segment them into different groups based on their demographics, behavior, or preferences. This allows you to send targeted and personalized emails that are more relevant and valuable to each segment. Two. Choose the right email service provider. The next step is to choose the right email service provider, ESP, for your needs. An ESP is a software platform that allows you to create, send, and track email campaigns. There are many ESPs available, but some of the most popular ones include MailChimp, Klaviyo, Constant Contact, Aweber, and Campaign Monitor. When choosing an ESP, you should consider factors such as ease of use, pricing, features, integrations, and customer support. You should also check if the ESP complies with email marketing laws, such as the CAN Spam Act in the US, and if it offers GDPR compliance for EU customers. So, how do you choose the right ESP for your business? Here are a few things to consider. Your budget. Some ESPs are more expensive than others, so it's important to choose one that fits within your budget. Your list size. If you have a small email list, you may be able to get by with a cheaper ESP. But if you have a large list, you'll likely need a more robust solution. Your e-commerce platform. If you're using a platform like Shopify, you'll want to choose an ESP that integrates seamlessly with your store. Your goals. Different ESPs have different strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to choose one that aligns with your goals. MailChimp vs. Klaviyo Now let's talk about MailChimp and Klaviyo specifically. Both are popular ESPs for e-commerce businesses, but they have some key differences. MailChimp is a great option for businesses just starting out with email marketing. It's affordable, easy to use, and has a lot of features that can help you get started quickly. Klaviyo, on the other hand, is a more advanced solution that's designed specifically for e-commerce businesses. It has more robust automation features, advanced segmentation options, and powerful analytics tools. Overall, both MailChimp and Klaviyo are great options, but it really depends on your business's specific needs and goals. Once you've chosen your ESP, you can set up your account, create your email list, and start designing your email templates. 3. Create compelling content the next step is to create compelling content for your email campaigns. Your content should be relevant, informative, and engaging to your audience, and it should align with your brand messaging and goals. Some types of content that work well for email marketing include newsletters, regular updates on your business, industry, or niche, promotions, discounts, sales, or exclusive offers for subscribers, 
event invitations, invitations to webinars, conferences, or other events, blog posts, links to your blog articles or guest posts, surveys, product updates, information about new products or features, testimonials, reviews or success stories from satisfied customers. When creating your content, it's important to keep in mind the tone, style and format of your emails. You want your emails to be easy to read and visually appealing, so use images, videos and graphics to break up the text and make it more engaging. Also, make sure your emails are mobile friendly, as more and more people are checking their emails on their mobile devices. 4. Design a visually appealing email template the design of your email template is just as important as the content. Your template should be consistent with your brand identity and convey a professional and trustworthy image. It should also be easy to navigate and visually pleasing to the eye. Most ESPs offer a range of email templates that you can customize to fit your brand and message. You can add your logo, brand colors, and other elements to make your email stand out. You can also use design tools such as Canva or Adobe Spark to create your own custom email templates. When designing your email template, make sure to include the following elements. A clear and compelling subject line that entices your audience to open your email. A pre-header text that summarizes the content of your email and encourages readers to continue reading. A strong call to action, CTA, that tells readers what you want them to do, e.g. shop now, learn more, subscribe. Personalization elements such as the recipient's name, location, or past purchases. Social media icons or links to encourage subscribers to follow you on social media. 5. Optimize for better open rates and click-through rates. Now that you have your email campaign set up, it's time to optimize it for better open rates and click-through rates (CTRs). The open rate is the percentage of people who open your email, while the CTR is the percentage of people who clicked on a link in your email. To improve your open rates, you can use these tips. Use a clear and compelling subject line that piques your audience's interest and curiosity. Personalize your subject line or pre-header text with the recipient's name or location. Use power words or emoticons to add emotion and urgency to your subject line. Avoid using spam trigger words such as free, discount or limited time offer. Test different subject lines and analyze which ones perform better. To improve your CTRs, you can use these tips. Use a clear and prominent CTA button that stands out from the rest of your content. Use a single CTA per email to avoid confusion or decision paralysis. Place your CTA button above the fold or in a prominent location. Use persuasive language and urgency in your CTA, e.g. buy now, limited time offer. Test different CTAs and analyze which ones perform better. 6. Measure your email campaign performance Measuring your email campaign performance is crucial to improving your strategy and results over time. Most ESPs offer analytics tools that allow you to track various metrics such as open rates, CTRs, conversion rates, and unsubscribe rates. To use analytics effectively, you should set up goals and KPIs key performance indicators for your campaign, such as sales, signups, or downloads. Test different elements of your campaign, such as subject lines, content, or CTAs. Segment your audience and analyze the performance of each segment. Use A-B testing to compare different versions of your campaign and identify what works best. Track your metrics regularly and analyze your results. Here are some key metrics to track. 1. Open rates – the percentage of people who opened your email. 2. Click-through rates – the percentage of people who clicked on a link in your email. 3. Conversion rates – the percentage of people who completed a desired action, such as making a purchase after clicking on a link in your email. 4. Bounce rates – the percentage of emails that were undeliverable or bounced back. 5. Unsubscribe rates – the percentage of people who unsubscribed from your email list. Use analytics tools such as MailChimp or Klaviyo to track these metrics and use the data to improve your strategy. For example, if your open rates are low, try experimenting with different subject lines or sending your emails at different times of the day. Now that you have the basics of email marketing down, let's take a look at some real-world examples of successful email campaigns and what makes them effective. Warby Parker Warby Parker is a popular eyewear brand that uses email marketing to promote new products and drive sales. 
In this example, they sent an email promoting their limited edition glasses collection. The email features a clear and compelling subject line, introducing our spring collection, which entices readers to open the email. The email template is visually appealing and includes high-quality images of the new glasses, as well as persuasive language and a strong CTA button that encourages readers to shop the collection. Overall, this email is effective because it showcases the product in an attractive and persuasive way and encourages action from the reader. Dropbox Dropbox is a cloud storage provider that uses email marketing to keep its users engaged and informed. In this example, they sent an email announcing new features and improvements to their service. The email features a clear and informative subject line, new features and improvements to Dropbox, which tells readers what to expect from the email. The email template is simple and straightforward, with clear headings and bullet points that make the information easy to digest. The email also includes a strong CTA button that encourages readers to learn more about the new features. Overall, this email is effective because it delivers value to the reader by providing useful information and updates, and encourages engagement with the product. Overall, email marketing is a powerful tool that can help businesses of all size drive sales, increase customer loyalty, and build their brand. By following the tips and strategies outlined in this video, you can create your own effective email marketing campaigns that get results. So don't hesitate to start using email marketing to grow your business and achieve your goals. With the right approach, email marketing can be a game changer for your business, helping you reach your target audience, increase your online sales, and take your business to the next level. And remember, if you need any help setting up your email marketing strategy, don't hesitate to contact Spreadify Marketing.